What blessing should one recite over a cup of water? When the Talmudic sage Abaya was asked, he replied thus, Go out and see what blessing the people recite, and that will be the law. The Talmudic saying, Go out and observe what the people are doing, is the imperative behind this book, whose purpose is to answer the question of what Jews do. More precisely, what Jews in Israel do. And we must say at the outset, they feel very Jewish. They place great emphasis on their Jewishness, and as for what it means to be Jewish, their answers generally correspond with their own behavior. In other words, what Jews do generally also defines their perceptions of what they ought to do. Jews who hope to reach an agreement to separate from the Palestinians will say, this is the Jewish thing to do. Jews who want to rebuild the Jewish temple will say this is the purpose of Judaism and must be promoted. The rhetoric of Israelis who want Israel to either be more socialist or more capitalist contains a similar appeal to Judaism, as does the rhetoric of those who want Israel to be either more pluralistic or more homogenous. Hello, I'm Shmuel Rosner from the Jewish People Policy Institute, and with me today, Professor Camille Fuchs of Tel Aviv University. Hello, Camille. Hello. I'm not going to call you Professor Fuchs for the whole time. I'll call you well, Camille with your permission. How, how, how about Camille? Is that what they wanted to say? Uh, Camille and I are co-authors of Israeli Judaism, yes. Portrait of a Cultural Revolution, Revolution. Yes, which Camille now holds now, yeah, in his hand. We will discuss the book and um, some of its um, conclusions and maybe a tiny bit of Israeli politics because you can't do without it. And Professor Fuchs is Israel's leading pollster, so he knows about Israeli politics more than most other people. But may I say that it was a pleasure to work on this book. <laughs> I enjoyed really? it too. Yes. So, so let, let's begin with, uh, with the survey, just a few technical pointers. Okay. What uh, did we do? Well, what we, do, what we did is one of the uh, largest uh, surveys that it was done ever, uh, in, uh, in Israel about uh, Judaism uh, in, in general and about the true, f- the true access of the Judaism that, that we found. Uh, one is the traditionalist and the other is, uh, is um, the uh, nationalist. nationalist. Right. right. And, uh, the tr- and, but we base that on a, a very large uh, uh, questionnaire. Uh, the questionnaire is something like 300 questions. Yeah, I counted it. It's closer to 400. Yes, yes. If you count all, right. all combinations. But, and, and then we chose out of those, uh, those several questions, which, uh, which are about 16 of, of each part, which describes the true access. And we are going to talk later about the access. But what we, we did, uh, we asked the, the people how they behave in, very, in the very day life, how they, they behave in very life, Jewish life, okay? And also, what is their uh, opinion about Israel, about Judaism, about, the, about their ancestors, how, how their children are going to be, where are they going to be, going to be the children in the next generation, all those together, we, uh, it was a very thorough uh, uh, survey and a very thorough analysis. And, and as you mentioned, one of the things that we discovered is that in Israel, if you take these two items, tradition and nationality, and you put them together, you can see that Israeli society or the mainstream of Israeli society is a fairly large group of people who practice both some tradition and some nationality, uh, we call it, with, you know, you both make Kiddush on Friday night and you raise the flag on Yom Atzmaut. But we also said something more. We said something that we basically saw a new type of Judaism. And it is Israeli Judaism. So that is an that is a issue that, that we an, uh, analyze. I believe that that is, from, from my point of view, uh, the Israeli Judaism is something new uh, that is... I came from from diaspora. Some other people came from diaspora, and we saw other types 
of Judaism. And what we see here is a new kind of Judaism, it is Israeli Judaism, which is quite different from what we see, for example, in the States, and what we see, for example, in Europe. And uh, I think that it is something which emerges, and in the next generation, we are going to see more of it. So, so let's, let's talk a little bit about this new type of Judaism. It's a new type of Jewishness, I would say. It's, right. not, it's not about the theology or the f- philosophy. No. It's, about, uh, it's about practice, behavior, beliefs. Everyday life. Right. So, so what, what are the things that people should know about the uniqueness of Israeli Judaism? Well, uh, one of the things that, that we saw is, is that the national that the part of nationalists of course we are talking about israel right and the parts of nationalist is uh, one of the things which is new and it is, and it describes the jews uh, more than the alha did in the in the previous so you can see the people who are completely secular and they are very jewish and they are jewish because Uh, they uh, they are really they feel that they are Israelis and being Israeli it's more more or less enough in order to describe myself as a Jew right and and when we ask people uh, do you think that to be a good Jew means to observe the halacha the number of people agreeing with that statement is fairly low right but when we ask them do you think that to be a good Jew you need to live in Israel absolutely the number goes <laughs> It goes, goes up, right? Goes right. up. Even even questions uh, which are which are not related, but it but they become related. For example, we ask the people, is that to be a good Jew means to serve in the Israeli army? Right. <laughs> so that there's idea. nothing to do with being Jew. We know that there are Jews that serving it, in the absolutely. IDF and Bedouins, but, but they they feel that it is part of their Judaism. So so our Judaism is, expresses itself in nationalist terms in nationalist uh, uh, practice that's for one for for a, a special segment of the population of course we do have a segment of the population but that for them Judaism is the alaha is observing all the, uh, uh, the all the festivities and all the, and so on but what I tried to say that even for the secular they continue to be secular and very Jewish and That's what I tried to say. Right. Um, let's talk a little bit. Uh, I, I said we will talk about politics. So, so okay. what, is, what is the connection in Israel between these uh, three items? Uh, uh, tradition, nationality, and politics. Well, uh, it's clear, for example, but there are several factors that they are not connected. independent so they, they they are correlated between several but let, let's make it very simple the people who are more traditionalist are more to the right so they they behave behave like this but we also analyzed some other factors which are demographic factors right. and the people who are who came uh, say from uh, from Asia and, and that North, North Africa North and Africa so they are also more uh, more traditionalist and they are also more uh, uh, more to the right so they they behave to the right the people who are who the left or center left in Israel there is no re- left anymore but the people who are on the center left now they are they are a great major great majority of them they are secular or even people very light traditionalist so they right. are secular the somewhat traditional, traditional we that that uh, we we had uh, this kind of uh, division of that very very fine division and uh, and uh, and they a lot of them came from Europe right and and when we see when we look at Israeli society well Jewish society in Israel and its politics and we say the mainstream group is Jewish Israeli Jews so they preserve some tradition and some nationality and we also see that the right wing in Israel is indeed 60% of the population Absolutely. The right and the center right right so it's a combination of the, those two are about 54% as, as you said so we had this kind of faxes that we mentioned before now now some people tend to think that in Israel um, 
the orthodox or the ultra-orthodox are becoming a majority, that they are becoming the most dominant section in society, and then soon enough Israel will become as religious as Iran or whatever other theocratic country. Is that really happening? Are we going to be more to, uh, uh, more uh, traditionalist or less traditionalist? Both, uh, both parties are right. right. That means we see both terms. We see both terms. And for the moment, uh, see, and let's connect that with politics. For right. the moment, since we, do, we did have, in the, in the previous elections, we had um, a, a right-wing uh, governments. Those governments also pushed the agenda of of uh, of, uh, of religion, all kind of. So we see an faith. establishment. If there is a right wing coalition with the ultra orthodox as part of it, we see some push towards right. you know, tradition, even religious coercion in some places, etc. But at the same time, we see in especially in uh, in the cities. Uh, when the great majority of the people are secular, we see a, a, a movement which is outside this uh, movement. For example, outside the Shabbat. Talk yeah, about we that. see that municipalities Municip- are beginning uh, public transportation on Shabbat. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And also, that means I remember when I came to Israel many years ago. Uh, like three, four years ago. More, more than <laughs> A bit that. More. more than that. Uh, there are only two uh, movie theaters that are open on, on Saturday night. Uh, today, all of them are open Saturday night. And one of the interesting things that you tested in the survey. Uh, happened when you ask people about the home in which they grew up versus yes. the home in which they live. And, and you tell us, what did it show? Well, <laughs> it's, uh, uh, thank, you for, thank you for saying that. I did it, but we did it together. <laughs> we did it together, that's <laughs> we did true. Together. Yeah. And um, what, what we see uh, that uh, the people uh, feel that they are less religious than, than their, their, their parents were. So on, on the average, people, uh, the, uh, the probability of being, say, uh, religious uh, is getting less and less uh, uh, from one generation to So the people other. who grew up in a religious house will say we are now traditional and people who grew mm. up in traditional house might say we are now secular. Well, not uh, let's let's put it statistically. Okay. Uh, uh, some of them are going to be traditional exactly as their parents. Right. Uh, a, a, a percentage of them will say that they are less traditionally. So right. that is what we have. No, the, but, but the, you also... pro, the, pro, uh, the percentage of those that say that they are are, uh, that they are as traditional as their parents is smaller than the, than the numbers that, they, that their parents. So the trend is basically leftward. It's it's towards more secularism. Secularism, not left. Not yeah, left. No, not to le- left no, politically no. speaking, but to no, secularism. Right, we already right. said that. And but also, uh, when we ask them how how do they want your uh, uh, your your children to be, and uh, that is one of the questions. They, they are not only that they want their children to be Jewish, they are sure that their children are going to be, to, with, with a very large percentage, they say that they are sure that their parents are going to be, uh, that their children are going to be Jewish, and also that also they think that their grandchildren will also be Jewish. And this is something that, that uh, Jews elsewhere in other places might not understand, because in their minds, this uh, challenge of Jewish continuity, whether the children and the grandchildren will remain Jewish, is a big deal. For us Israelis, it's... Well, it is, it's exactly the part that they are part of the Judaism in Israel. So, so we say, we, we think that they are going to be Jewish because we've been, uh, we, th- we said before that to be Jewish means to be Israeli, as that is Israel being, and, and, th- and they think that they are going to be Jewish. We, we looked um, more at practices than at beliefs. We also asked many right. things about yes. beliefs, but our focus was practices. And one of the things that strike me as interesting is that even people who would say, you know, instinctively, oh, we do nothing Jewishly. <laughs> we are completely secular. We, we care nothing for Judaism. 
when you begin asking a very deep, when you give them a very detailed questionnaire with 400 questions, they end up answering positively like 200 questions. Right. Because everybody celebrates Pesach and everybody Absolutely. wears costumes on Purim, yes. et cetera. So can, can we talk about this? Let, let's focus on Hanukkah. Okay. Can you find in Israel a person who does not light Hanukkah candles? Yes. How Myself. many? Myself. <laughs> that's that's the story I was aiming at. Because you are the only one we found. That's right. I know. I know. In, in our in our survey. I know. But 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 I used to. I used to. But my children are not here. Right? That means I'm I'm old enough. But when the children were were at home, then we light, lighted. Not only we lighted. We lighted every night. So the, the fact that Israelis practice so much Judaism. Do you think it is because they have strong Jewish identity or, or because this is what people do here? This is what people do it, but, but also uh, it's, it's being a part of something bigger. I believe that we want to be part of the Jewish people, and that is what. And uh, uh, I, I hope that I'm not going to belittle that too much. But, for, but when you go to the, to the States and you see... Uh, for example, the people who are very secular. They have a Christmas, uh, Christmas party ever because it is part of being part of, of, the, the, of the local of culture. Local, local culture. And, and that is what we have here. We have a local culture which is Jewish. Right, and that's why we see, for example, immigrants mm. who come completely secular, quickly adopting... Israeli customs and becoming more, not more religious, but more traditionalist right. in some sense. Right. They, they want to be part of, to be part of, of, of the Israeli society means to be part of the Israeli Jewish society. Of the many findings that we had, um, was there anything that surprised you more than other things? I'll tell you what surprised me the most. Mm -hmm. The finding about people having Shabbat dinner at home with their families, that it's more than 80%. Absolutely. That so many people here, even if they don't make Kiddush and don't light Shabbat candles mm -hmm. and don't uh, bless on the, on the bread, these uh, family-oriented Judaism of getting everybody together on Friday night... I think that I think that we had we always had that we always had that I, I, I don't find it surprising because I'm looking at at my my own thing of course you you have that that is a way you look uh, uh, for example we were in uh, in the states and you look at at, at the way that the, the, the children go away and they don't come. And it was strange to us. It was strange to see that this kind of thing, that it's, it was very important to us to have a, a Saturday night, as long as, as is possible to come. And sometimes you come from, from big distances. They travel a lot. But, but would you say that Israel geography, the fact that it's a yes. small country and yes. people basically live yes. nearby, yes. contributes to this family-oriented yes. uh, yes, Jewishness? But, but, but I think that, that we also uh, 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 choose more to live near our parents. I mean, I, uh, I don't have to be a statistician to talk about myself. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but uh, when, when we uh, uh, bought uh, uh, um, an apartment for, for my daughter, it was in order to be near, uh, uh, near, near the parents. Near where she lives. Near, near the parents. Near right. the parents. Since you, you did have this experience of immigrating to Israel, let, let me ask you this question. Is it easier or more difficult to be Jewish in Israel than it is in other places? Absolutely. Much easier. It's course. much easier? Of course. I mean, to be a Jew in a... In a it's, we are not talking about the, uh, about the United States. We are talking about a question, uh, countries like Russia, like Romania, like Bulgaria, and so on, 
over there, or Bulgaria, of course, Poland and stuff, uh, uh, in those places to be Jewish, it was much more difficult. But would you say that this is also true for Western, modern, tolerant countries such as the United States? Because in the United States, you have to invest special effort to be Jewish. And here in Israel, you can be totally relaxed and still practice a lot of Judaism. Yes, but in, in those places, some of the people say, why should we bother? That means th then we see this kind of the greatest percentage of assimilations that we see over there. And then we, 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 uh, some of them detach them, the, themselves from the Jewish uh, people. And that's sad, but it's part of life. I ask almost um, all the people who come here to speak about our book whether they're optimistic about the trajectory of Jewish-Israeli society. Well, uh, I'm certainly, <laughs> I'm certainly uh, not objective because I, uh, I'm, I'm well, an you, author of the, of you, the you book. You wrote the book and, I know, I and know you the, also live here. Yes, yes. I'm very optimistic. And why is that? I'm, I'm, I'm very optimistic about, uh, the, uh, of course, we uh, about the, uh, being Jewish. You're, you're not as uh, as optimistic about the political situation. Uh, well, I, I'm, I, let let me put it this way: we hear all the time of threats, all kind of threats against, against Israel, and um, to to say that we are hundred percent sure that we'll overcome all of them. Uh, it 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 will it will be I think overly optimistic, and and you already mentioned that you spend time living uh, in America more than once I think yeah um, altogether more than ten years okay so so thinking about Israeli Jews and American Jews and what we discovered in our study uh, does it make our partnership with diaspora Jews easier or more complicated well. <laughs> Uh, it's not a problem of being e the easier or com more complicated. I think that is very important. I believe that uh, they, uh, it's very important for for us to keep in touch. I, when I was, you, you mentioned that I was at several universities. In every, in every one of them, we had uh, the Jewish community which w welcomed us uh, as, as Jewish, and, and and it was marvelous. It was marvelous. It's a marvelous uh, feeling to be to, to feel that you that you are not alone. Professor Fuchs, thank you for partnering with me on writing the book and for coming. And thank you for inviting me.